And now, welcome to Seven Questions with Emmy. Brought to you by Timberline Home, whose showroom in Idaho Falls is waiting for you to explore. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. This interview today is something I've been waiting for for so long, and I'm thrilled to do it. Today I'm talking with one of the owners of Pick Me Up, Amy Martin. Her and her husband, Zach Martin, own the own Pick Me Up. Um, do you have, how many stores do you have? We have 12 stores right now. 12 stores, and they're all in Idaho, or there's one in Utah. There is. And if you've never been to Pick Me Up, if you don't live near here, whenever you're in Idaho, or if you're in the Utah store, if, if you're in the part of Utah that their stores in, you better come get it, because it's like the best soda shop ever. Yes. I love it so much. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you for having me, Emmy. I'm are so you, excited. Are you ready to get started with the question? I think I'm ready. Okay. How did you like get into owning Pick Me Up? Yeah, so I actually didn't start Pick Me Up. I was just a huge fan of Pick Me Up from the very beginning. It was started in 2016 by a guy named Josh Searle. And he was the first soda shop in Idaho Falls. And I was just a very, very frequent customer. I was there all the time. And in 2018, I had twins. and. Twin babies is a lot. And so I felt like I was kind of stuck at the house a lot. I couldn't get out. I, it was hard to go to the store. And so I would be at Pick Me Up all the time. And my husband finally said, you should just ask if you can buy Pick Me Up. I think he thought it would be cheaper that way. <laughs> and so I reached out to the owner and I just caught him at just the right time that he was in a transition period in his life and he was ready to sell it. And so we bought it in 2019. Oh wow, that's yeah. really cool. It was a dream come true, because I knew I could start my own soda shop, but there's something so special about Pick Me Up. I really wanted Pick Me Up. Well, do you like take orders here? You know, stuff? sometimes I do. I like really like to pop into my stores, and when I'm in checking on them, I'll kind of sit at the window for just a minute maybe. I'm not the fastest at taking orders like my employees are, but I really like to interact with customers. What has been the weirdest drink that someone's ordered? Oh, there's some really <laughs> odd flavor combinations, and to each their own, right? I tell my kids we don't yuck anybody else's yum, um, but I have seen somebody that ordered I want to say it was root beer with grape and green apple in it. And uh, I didn't think that one would go together very well. <laughs> I have a friend, yesterday we were talking about going and sadly we couldn't come, but she gets a red cream soda with like raspberry Ooh. and coconut and like like blue raspberry. And I was like, well, that sounds interesting. That sounds like a pretty good one. Yeah, it's, yeah, sometimes flavors go together that you may not, you know, originally yeah. think would be good. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite drink here? I do, I have several favorite drinks. Cause I'm in Pick Me Up every single day and so I have to kind of mix it up. But the one that I get all the time is a white monster with fresh lime, raspberry, pineapple, and I top it off with fresca. It's really, really good. Or I do the waters a lot too. Yeah, I if I could order everything, I would honestly. <laughs> just one of everything? Yeah, just go through the drive-thru every hour once you're done with one drink. You're my favorite kind of customer. Oh, um, <laughs> um, what, I guess you just, are, have you dropped your merch yet? Before? We are about to drop our fall merch next week, so everybody can be on the lookout for fun stuff like this. Um, Little Mama Shirt Shop here in Idle Falls, we really like to keep it local, and so they do them for us. Can you kind of like show me around? Of course, you want to look at this pick me up? So right now we're at our Clearview pick me up, um, which is off of Ammon Road, and we'll start right over here, I'll show you. So right over here is what most people see when they see our pick me ups. Um, so we've got cups and our fresh add-ins, all of our syrups and purees, as well as all of our sodas. This is Quinn, he is, he's been at Pick Me Up for a really long time. He's one of the friendly faces that you can see here. This is our drive-through line right here. This is what most people use here, is just our drive-through. And then if you look back here, this is where all of our ice comes. We have the best nugget ice. Oh yes. It is the good stuff. Yes. So we, have, we go through lots and lots of ice. We've got all of our creams, coconut cream, which everybody loves, fresh limes and lemons. This is all of our energy drinks and cookies. We now serve ices, which is really fun because you can get some of our mo like most favorite flavors in an icy form now, which yeah. is super fun. Uh, we've got our sink, we clean everything. This is all of our soda bibs. So this is how our soda comes to us. So it's really concentrated in here and then it gets mixed with the carbonation, the bubbles and the water to make a perfect soda. We have all of our back stock here. This is all of the soda bibs. And then the rest is really just storage. Oh, and who could forget the popcorn machine? Oh, right and there. our popcorn machine for our delicious movie theater like popcorn, huh? We also have a walk-up window at this location, which is kind of fun. What have you learned running a business? 
Ooh, the biggest lesson I think I've learned since owning Pick Me Up is that it's okay to not know everything, but I either need to learn it myself or I need to find somebody else that knows it. And so Zach and I have built a really fun corporate team that we all have different skill sets and it makes it so that Pick Me Up uh, runs really smoothly. Even if it's not something that Zach or I are great at, we have somebody that is awesome at whatever we may need. Do you have any advice for me or like our viewers? Ooh, I would say find something that you're super passionate about and then go all in on it. Uh, the reason that I fell in love with Pick Me Up is because of the customer service and that was so important to me. And so being able to be in here and work with, a lot of my employees are younger, it's kind of a first job for a lot of them. And being able to teach them customer experience and customer service and just how to interact is just so much fun. Okay, now I heard that we're gonna play this game Yes. It's, is it soda roll does it? It's called roll for soda. Roll for soda. Yes. My husband Zach does this on TikTok. Um, and it's a game where you get to let the dice decide what you'd like to drink. Would you want to try that today? Yes. Wonderful. Hello, it's Pick Me Up Zach here for another roll for soda. And I have Emmy here. Seven questions with Emmy of the East Idaho News. She's gonna help me today. We're gonna roll dice and it's gonna make us a drink. And then we're going to give it a try and give you a review at the end. Why am I getting dressed up? Well, for Halloween, I've been putting on a costume for every episode. And so, okay. you're gonna be Minion, it looks like. And you are gonna take a D20 and roll it to figure out which soda base you're gonna have. 15. Mountain, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, okay. So now we're gonna write it over here so you don't forget. And now we're gonna do our first flavor shot. So you roll the D20 again. Okay. 12. Sugar-free sugar coconut. coconut. So then we're gonna roll the D20 again for your second flavor shot. Okay. 13. Salted caramel. Now we do your add-in. Okay. You need a D8, which is this one right here. Ooh, that was a good roll though. Strawberry puree. That's the add-in, right? That's strawberry, caramel, and coconut all in there. D8. It's a secret of the trade. When I don't know, I just abbreviate it. Coconut cream. Ooh, there, that was a good one. So here's your sugar-free coconut. So you did two pumps of each one. And then salted caramel is right here. And we're gonna add strawberry puree. So that's this one. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you'll wanna hold it like this, tip your cup, and then just kind of Pour it around the outside edge. So now we're gonna come over here and we do the cream last. So we're gonna go back up to Mountain Dew. So you put it right here and then you hold that till it's about there. This one? Yep, that's the one. There you go. Okay. So then you'll wanna do, so leave it right here and then do one scoop of ice. Maybe another little bit more ice. Okay. okay. And you'll take this spoon and you'll stir it and you'll want to make sure you kind of scrape that puree so it really gets mixed in really well. What Emmy rolled here is we have a Mountain Dew, sugar-free coconut, salted caramel, strawberry puree, and coconut cream. So kind of swirl it a little bit. The cream's kind of mixed and there you go. Then you have to rate it one out of 10 and tell us if your thirst is quenched. Okay. It's not bad. Is it better or worse than you thought? Better. Better than you thought it would be? I'd say probably like a 6.5 out of 10. Six and a half out of 10. That's a pretty good one, guys. 6.5 out of 10 from Emmy. What do you think would have made it better? Um. Maybe no salted caramel. No salted caramel? That's yeah. probably pretty solid. Yeah, but it's actually pretty good. Awesome. Would you order it again? No. Probably that's not. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much to Amy and Zach for letting me come. I had such a great time. If you want Pick Me Up, you can check them out on social media or on their website, pickmeup.com. Right? Pickmeupdrinks.com. Pickmeupdrinks.com. Yep. And if you're in Idaho or Utah, you better get come get a drink because they're so good. Emmy's our best hype girl. Emmy, thank you for coming. We have a little present oh for you gosh, from Pick Me Up. Thank you so much. I can kind of. There you go. 
see We're going to be twins. We're going to be twins. You can rep it at school and show your favorite yes. soda shop. I'm wearing this on Monday. I'll probably wear this the whole weekend and then Perfect. just wear it on Monday again. I love it. Thank you, Emmy. This. this is so fun. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to get all my change into it. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you. And make sure you go and pick me up. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Seven Questions with Emmy, brought to you by Timberline Hope, whose showroom in Idaho Falls is waiting for you to explore.